Okay, so let's make some drive shafts, shall we? We have two mini shafts or half shafts, uh, outer shafts, whatever you call them, and then two fiesta shafts with the old toroidal joints on the inside there. So we need to cut them in half, either of them, and make some really short shafts. Lots of measurements. So uh, 309.5 on the near side and 277.5 on the off side, and I've included the pieces that go inside the CV joint because obviously they, there's the section of spline that goes inside um, and the toroidal joint that goes inside the cap. So we've included those measurements. Uh, so that's to be done. So we've got a piece of tube. There she is. Yeah, 24 mil inner diameter, and I think it's a three mil wall, so nice and thick. And that's of benefit because. The Fiesta shafts are 24, just over 24 mil, and the mini shafts are 24.75. So the idea is, once I've cleaned up these shafts, they should basically almost press in to a 24 mil tube, and then we'll drill a few holes in this, weld through, weld some dimples into the shafts as well, and we might even do a little sort of like um, L joint where the shafts come together like that, sort of like that, so that then there's something that stops them you know, falling apart basically. Good times. So let's get on with it. Let's clean up the shafts, get the joints off, um, and take some measurements and chop, chop, chop. So a little top tip for you all out there. Just when you're about to knock off the toroidal joint, so it's nearly there, wrap a little bit of cling film around it. And then when you do knock it off, if it goes flying, you think all grit and stuff in it, and all the little tiny spindle bearings have just got flying everywhere. Because then it's new drive shaft time. Now, it's obviously not an impenetrable barrier, so you're going to damage the king film. But, see? It's all wrapped up nice and clean for you. No dirty hands, keeps it all nice and tidy. We put that with its little clip, pop it in a little box. Right. I'm going to clean this up. Take the boot off, save that, clean this up, and then repeat on the other drive shaft. Yeah, yeah, we will. Hopefully, before lunch, get something done today. Okay, then, so here's our two bits of our shaft mini shaft on this side, forward shaft there, and there's our little connection, you see that? That gives us the total shaft. I don't know if someone would even just weld it and carry on, but that will obviously would break apart. So we'll be putting this over that like that. We'll cut that to length, put this end in this end, weld at the ends, drill a few holes, weld in there, and that should do it just fine. Yeah. There we go, folks. That's our shaft with our sleeve over the top. Had to really whack it in there, so it's a nice. Well, it's a press fit. I think for the second one, the energy, I'll actually go and use the press to uh, push them in. They're that tight, which is ideal, and they've slotted together nicely in the middle. I can feel well, well that happened. So now what I'm going to do. We're going to weld round this side and weld round this side. And then we'll drill a few holes and we'll drill into the shaft very slightly, get a little dimple, and then weld those as well. And we won't do them all the way around, that'll create a fracture point. So we'll do like a weld, uh, a drill there, and then a drill there, and then a drill there. So they're in different places as you go around, not creating too much stress or, or change. That's pretty good. Roll sweet. What we'll do is we're just going to tack a weld on either end of this, and then we'll fit the. Um, the joints on and uh, test fit it. All right, so there's our two shafts, off side and near side. Near side slightly longer. Um, this is a perfect push fit on both sides and press fit on both sides. Um, but we've got basically two holes drilled out and sort of beveled inside and out. If that makes sense. So beveled there and then beveled on the shaft. Have to take the shaft out to do that. They're too. They're just too hard to 
to drill with my drill bits and obviously cleaned up. I now cleaned them with a brake clean, they're going to get in the oven. And then this one, there was a tiny bit of play on this shaft, so we worked out what the thickness was, halved it and put a feeler gauge in both sides to hold it exactly where I want it. Um, we're going to stick it in the oven now and then bring it out and weld them up one by one. Cooking nicely. Let's get one out. Let's go get the other one. Clean them up, give me a look of paint, and then we'll be about done. There we go. Done. Cool. Okay, so drive shafts both side in now. Um, fitted nicely, using the original Ford boots. They're a bit squashed. I'll see if we can find something, but it's almost impossible to find toroidal, like stretch boots, which would be ideal. And uh, we can use the original mini ones because there's the groove for that, so that's perfect. And uh, it all all works just fine. So that's great. Um, and the near size one done is, is done too. Now, basically won't finish these until sort of final fit. So when the engine comes out finally in a gearbox uh, for this going for paint, then we'll clean these up, do the final boots, re-grease them, etc. Pointless doing all that now. It's just gonna get scuffed and bashed and boots on and off and maybe damaged. So uh, it's a pointless exercise. Right, so that's Shraf's done.